Tonight, the Hancock County community is paying tribute to the U.S. troops killed in last week's attack in Afghanistan. 13 U.S. troops lost their lives in that evacuation mission, including Corporal Umberto Sanchez of Logansport. Communities all across the country are now honoring these heroes. Fox 59's Justin Kolar went to Fortville and joins us now with their touching tribute. Yeah, good evening, Dan and Beershell. Take a drive through Fortville and you'll see clusters of American flags, 13 to be exact, in 25 different locations all over town, each one representing the 13 service members lost last week in Afghanistan. It's truly just cloth and colors, but it's more of a symbol for what this country is made of, what we stand for. It's more than 13 flags or the 13 stripes on each one. It's 13 lives lost, 13 families in their communities grieving tonight over the loss of their own American heroes. It's very close to home. Um, it, it is a little closer because it's a Hoosier, but to us, it, it's, it's all one big family. Tony Bueller serves as post commander of this VFW. As a veteran himself of Operation Enduring Freedom, he continues his mission here at home. It's just a way that once you're out of uniform, to get involved in the community and still make a difference. With Afghan refugees now seeking asylum in the U.S., Bueller believes the 20 year cause was worth it in the end. I would imagine that it is very hard for a parent to accept that their son or daughter, their sacrifice was worth what they were fighting for. But as somebody that has fought for those freedoms and those rights, I feel that it is very important. Um, they, they, it was worth it. Though not a veteran himself, Jeff Young still wears his patriotism on his sleeve. The flags were his idea. Well, I'll tell you, I was sitting at the table, and then I saw the, the 13 young Americans killed. And I thought, what could we do? By placing these flags, he hopes Hoosiers remember the sacrifices made by men and women like Logansport's own Corporal Umberto Sanchez. I can tell you right now, Logansport, where Corporal Sanchez is going to be laid to rest, they're doing the same thing. Because this is your flag. This is my flag. This will soon be their flag, too. It's everybody's flag, and it represents the best of the world. Now, the Fortville VFW and American Legion posts are working to gather supplies like non-perishable food items, clothing, and toys for the Afghan refugees who will soon be heading to Camp Atterbury. In the studio tonight, I'm Justin Cole, our Fox 59 News. All right.